February 5, 2022 Daily Devotion Proverbs chapter 1 verses 1 to 8 
the Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, for gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance. For understanding proverbs and parables, the saying and riddles of the wise, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Teachability expands your talent. Our passage today speaks of the importance of gaining knowledge and wisdom through instructions from wise, God-fearing people and our parents. If we are wise, then we must be teachable, because verse 5 reminds us that, Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance. Those who are proud refuse to listen and get guidance which often causes their downfall. That is why humility and teachability expands your talent. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and to fear the Lord needs humility and a teachable attitude for wisdom to be present. However, in reality, if someone is a highly gifted person, has experiences of success, or is older, they will have a hard time maintaining a teachable spirit. Gifted people often think they know it all. They are knowledgeable and often think their view is the only valid view. There is a pastor who is really knowledgeable in theological doctrines, but instead uses it to create division with church leadership and congregation by insisting that only his views are biblical and would not accept any other explanations. If you have any leaders like that, much better to have none than to maintain one that divides the body of Christ. Teachability is not so much about competence and mental capacity as it is about attitude. It is the desire to listen, learn, and apply. It is the hunger to discover and grow. Gifted people with teachable attitudes become talented with the help of other people. Here are some principles about learning by having teachability. 1. The more you are interested in learning, the greater the potential for growth. 2. Teachable people are always open to new ideas and willing to learn from them. 3. Learning is meant to be a lifelong pursuit. 4. Talented people are often the most difficult to teach. And five, pride is the number one hindrance to teachability. Pride produces a sense of superiority. Do you know what the problems are when we have pride? First, it distorts our perspective of reality. Then, it closes our minds to new ideas. It also closes our minds to feedback and to make adjustments. Pride prevents us from admitting mistakes that let us learn and grow. Lastly, it keeps us from making needed changes. Thus, we remain in the status quo. Many young people, including very young children today, know more about technology than their parents. Often when parents are asking them about certain use of the gadget, some would answer in a tone so disrespectful as if their parents are so stupid. And they, on the other hand, know it all. And when parents want to teach and correct them, they would not just refuse but ridicule them, saying it is old-fashioned, not applicable in their generation. Verses 8-9 to reminds children to Listen, my son to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck.
Many children with this sinful attitude of pride and self-centeredness also violated the sixth commandment to honor one's parents. In the Old Testament law, children who disrespect and dishonor their parents can be put to death by stoning. This is how high a standard the Lord places on honoring our parents. Be very careful of this kind of attitude as many talented and successful people fall into this sin that causes their downfall. Always be humble and teachable. Reflection Remember, it is what you learn after you know it all that counts. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 reminds us to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourself. Each of you should look not only to your own interest, but also to the interest of others. Pride tears and breaks down others. But only by being humble and teachable will you not only expand your gifts and talents, but it can make you a valuable part in building relationships and expanding the kingdom of the Lord. Prayer Search my heart, O God, and remind me of the many areas of my heart that I do not exhibit the fear of you. I have a prideful attitude that tears down relationships and ministries. Forgive me, Lord. Transform my heart of pride into a heart of humility and teachability because I want to be a wise person and not a foolish one to glorify you. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.